The seed has a little tiny plant inside of it. It's called an embryo. And when the seed gets the right conditions, the embryo starts to grow. Most seeds need water and warmth to start growing. And when it starts growing, it's called germination or sprouting. And then plants also, eventually, they need sunlight or artificial light that gives energy like the sunlight. That's where the plants get their energy. But the material that actually makes up a plant, that comes from the air and the water that we give it doesn't come from the soil. Uh, we put sand in this, in this experiment, uh, but then we put fertilizer in the sand. So that gives the plants everything they need to grow. Uh, and if you had a really good scale, you could do the experiment that this guy Van Helmont did back in the 1600s. He weighed a plant, just like your plants, he weighed it, and he weighed the soil separate from the plant. Then he just left it for five years. He left it and the plant got bigger and bigger. It was a tree actually. It grew into a little willow tree. And then he ripped the willow tree out of the ground and he weighed it again and it got a lot heavier. And then he weighed the soil too, but the soil didn't lose much weight at all. It's almost the same. And so from that he knew that the material that made up that tree, that material was from the air and from the water. Carbon from the air, hydrogen from the water. It's amazing. Uh, so now, uh, the, these little plants that you planted, they're getting what they need from the fertilizer that we put in, and then the sand is just holding them in place. It's like hydroponics. It's called hydroponics. You can grow plants with just water. Uh, when the plant gets its energy from the sun, it's called photosynthesis. The plant can store this energy in the material of its plants, the leaves, the stem, the roots, the seeds and, and flowers and stuff. And when we eat the plant, then we get that, that uh, material and energy into our body. Uh, so that's how we get energy um, because we can't do photosynthesis as animals. And when an animal or plant dies, then it goes back into the earth and decomposes so that it, uh, all those nutrients go back into the soil. Scientists discover stuff by doing experiments. An experiment is at least one part that's done the way we know, like this one here. This one, uh, it has water and fertilizer and the plants and the sand and it's going to probably grow. It has the sunlight. But this one has all that stuff plus I added the vinegar. I had some vinegar. I added it to it. So that's the experimental one. Now we're going to see you know, because that one variable is different. It's called a variable or a factor. I changed one factor here and so now if these things don't act the same it's probably because of that one factor. That's how scientists discover all kinds of stuff. And there's all sorts of variables that you could change. You could change the light or the soil or the fertilizer or the sand. You could change all kinds of things. And then you wait and see how that makes a difference with the result of the experiment. Now I'll do the vocabulary. The seed, that's the part of the plant that makes a new plant. It has a little embryo inside. An embryo is a tiny baby plant that's actually inside the seed. Germination, that's when uh, a new plant comes out of the seed. It starts to grow. It sprouts, basically. Nutrients, that's the substances in the water, in the soil that the plants are getting to grow. And then photosynthesis that's the process, biochemical process, that the uh, plants use to get energy from the sun.